Hey you guys, so I thought I would hop on and give an update <laughs> and make a video um, of what we got done so far. Um, many have been asking and I just haven't made anything because, well, we just really haven't completed a full task yet. Um, we've been working, but um, just not as fast, I guess, as probably Jeremy thought that we would be because he's more like turbo speed and I'm more like snail speed at this point and <laughs> yeah so I'm probably holding him back just a little bit um, but it's getting done um, more importantly healing is taking place and um, I believe that's what the Lord wanted most whenever I got in here to my farmhouse and as I began to work on it I know that he wanted to restore things in me as he's restoring or as I'm putting my hands to things and restoring the farmhouse and so I love the progress that we have so far um, on the bathroom. Honestly the bathroom would probably hardly be done if we went with it being just functional but um, we're doing more than functional, we're doing more of a design to it as well and so it looks amazing you guys i think y'all are gonna love um what we've been able to do to it so far and so um what we've been working on we've been working on painting one of the bedrooms in the hallway um uh, working on the bathroom i'm in the process of going back through the house and i'm um, cleaning it out because when i cleaned it out the first time I held on to a lot of stuff like I don't know why I just felt I was telling Jeremy I just felt like I went through a season of lack where I was lacking things that I felt like I needed to hold on to things just in case like just in case I wasn't going to be able to get them later and it's stuff that <laughs> Like, it is stuff that I know that I'm not even going to need later, but I was just like, I don't know, just holding on to it. And so, um, that's what God's telling me to do. You know, I've got to go back through the farmhouse, clean things out, a lot of little things that are just cluttering up the place. And to be honest, at times I felt just overwhelmed because the more I began to clean out and the more we began to do, the messier I mean look at behind the porch like everything <laughs> everything is just getting messy but you know the Lord had to remind me um, sometimes things have to get messier really messy before it gets better and so you know I'm thankful I'm in a season of just being thankful uh, for where I'm at and what God's doing um, it's an uncomfortable season but sometimes we have to go to uncomfortable places um that's where god's able to move us and just kind of um get us to go into that place that he has for us and so um anywho i'm excited so let's go take a look at what we've been doing here in the farmhouse okay so we've got lots to do this weekend <laughs> i got lots to do I'm going to be cleaning out the bedrooms with all of the stuff that has been left in here. And so I've really got to work on that. My goal is to um, get it all cleaned out. That way we can tear the carpet out and get ready to lay the floors. And so, yeah, we got some messes in here. So that's the goal mainly for me I'll be working on this I would also like to try to get the walls painted I'm just gonna do like an eggshell on the walls and on the ceilings so yep that's that so empty rooms paint walls tear out carpet be ready to lay floors and then Jeremy is going to be working on the bathroom and so he's going to be finishing plumbing in our tub, toilet, and I think he's going to be doing the countertops and the floors 
This is the flooring that we have to go in the bathroom, the hallway, and the bedrooms for the addition, the add-on. So we have the original part of the house, and then we have the add-on, which is this part of the house, which will be the kids' bedrooms, the two bedrooms, this hallway, and the bathroom. All right. So this is it. For the nails? Uh -huh. Are you making holes for nails? I don't make it holes for nails. I can help. So that might be. Does it have to be like up near the. Hang on a second. Does it have to be right here? Yeah, he's making the countertop. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I know what to do. You put it right here so it'll fit. He's cutting them. What do you think about that being the countertop? Like it? Oh, you marking it for them? Yeah. You helping? Yeah, I marked it. <laughs> You're a great helper. Should we do this? I did in the right spot. Should we do this? For the backsplash? I did in the right spot. See, look. Right spot. Is it? You pushed it all the way tight and marked it? Uh-huh. You did? Do it one more time for me. All right. Mark another one. Mark another one. Where? Yeah, one? put it up there. These ones are not even here. They're on the right side. Yes, Get it? Uh -huh. So we're going to epoxy this stuff. I got it. You got it? Is it ready? Mm -hmm. You going to go cut it? What'd you find? A little pocket gun. Oh. That's really sharp. Let's see. That's pretty cool. What's the Is this the only blade? Oh. Looks like it. Nope, it's not. There's another one in there. I guess I'm going to come back and get it off right there. I'm going to move this thing go a little bit. Look, here's the one that I use that looks good. Yeah, you found a garden spotter. All right, we're getting closer. Who's ready to paint? Well, there's no reason to kill it. You're never holding four feet from the side of the sun. Yeah. All right, what do you think, Charlie? Are you ready to paint? Yeah, almost ready. Almost ready. Carpet's out. Good. I like that. 
Now the cola. And you gotta epoxy that too. No, we don't have to epoxy it. We can actually finish it with something else. Okay. They'll make them. We'll find whatever we need to get for it. I don't know exactly what we're gonna finish it with. Okay. But we'll have a working shower today. Right? That's mm -hmm. cool, huh? Yep. I love it. Me too. So that was the stuff that they were gonna cover the little shed out back with. Mm -hmm. And we decided to keep it with what it was and just repair what's rotten on it. Mm -hmm. So you're ready to go to the barn in a little bit and pull out the wood. And you think we should do the entire walls with it? It'll take some time. Like to the ceiling? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. And then we'll trim this out with it too. What, that what do you barn? think about the ceiling? Let's go the barn. But do you think maybe 10? Yeah. 10 I would like good. 10. 10 is good. I got that, but it's the old 10 that actually looks rustic. When can we get it? Today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're excited? I am. I'm excited. Me too. Okay, but what kind are you getting? These are the cutoffs from millwork, from things being laminated together over the last 40 years from your Uncle Jack. Okay. And we're going to use all the sizes. Like even if they're not, even if they're different widths yes. and stuff. So the wall's going to have that dimension, it's going to have that, uh, that uh, what am I trying to say, the depth. Mm -hmm. Okay, gravy. You're such a brat. I love that green over there. Aww. I had this from the very second we walked into this barn. That this I to do something. idea for the bathroom? Yes. Or this for something. Well, these are, there's no telling how many. This is, this is cut off from years and 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 years. Who knows how many years? Yeah. And they are going to be different sizes, and that's going to be super cool. There's still a lot of stuff in this barn. Huh? I said there's still a lot of stuff in this barn. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Good thing you got muscles. Good thing I have muscles. Good thing you do. I'm going to start hauling. Okay. okay. So I am glad though that we took out the, the cabinets. Huh? I'm glad that the cabinets yeah. came out yeah, because they that, to come out that really. The better one came out. It did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a city slicker out here digging through spider infested stuff, woman. Do what? I'm a city slicker. I'm scared. <laughs> There's one on your shoulder. Other shoulder, it's a big one. What? <laughs>